Are you ready? Yeah, I'm good. You uh, cell phone on silent? Yes. Yeah, yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're good then. I'm ready. We're ready. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. This is our April 6th fishing report for the Jersey Shore. Guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Um, and if you're looking for a place to send your reports, guys, we'll put the number on the screen. You can text it. Text us your report. Uh, hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, uh, anywhere else. Yeah. Uh, Email? I don't think email, email. You can yeah. email. Yeah, email. you can email. Yeah, yeah we, we, we're, we're realizing, though, that I don't think a lot of you guys actually know how to get to the description below. <laughs> I think that's a challenge for some of you. <laughs> so we're trying to make it easier for We're going to put the text line right up there. That way you can just add that to your phone, and it is a text-only line. No phone calls, please. Yeah, we won't answer if you call. Yeah, yeah, right now. <laughs> we will hang up on you. <laughs> no, it's just uh, it's for texting only. So she was a text, and uh, yeah, with your pictures, and we appreciate that. We do have our uh, March contest that just recently wrapped up. You're going to have to stay tuned to see who won that. Right now, Carl Chen is currently in the lead with a 34 and a half inch striper, uh, but we'll have to wait and see if that holds. Uh, and it is April; it's a new month, so I mean, it's a new contest going on right now. That's right. Uh, so listen, make sure you guys get us in your reports, get us your fish, because if we find you doesn't count you guys send it to us uh and all it takes is is that you guys send the fish to us have it caught in the state of new jersey and you'll be eligible for our uh april striper contest which we will bring you a prize pack next week um this is our current prize pack for the month of march uh so our winner uh will be receiving this uh and uh with that being said let's get into our report all right we have got chris uh at bougie baits he shared this picture of sponsor yeah, it's yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, that's nice, Chris. Right? What's going on, Chris? Right, he sent this picture of John with a nice striper he got, and he was using a bougie bait white swim chat, so that's cool. Uh, hopefully, some of y'all get some of these. That's right, yeah. Bougie yeah, baits. Yeah, get some bougie baits going. That's right. Jimmy Rogers was fishing the Delaware River between Wilmington and Philly. He said the bite is starting to pick up just a little bit. He caught uh, these two nice stripers using a junior's bottom striper rig with bloodworms. And Richard Rizzullo was uh, fishing from the bank in Little Lake Harbor when he was able to land three fish using soft plastic. And finally, I have Bayside Dave sent us uh, two reports, two nice stripers he caught. Uh, the first one was in the Raritan Bay. Uh, this one was at 36 and a quarter inches. The second uh, was caught off a point in Barnegat Bay. Uh, this was 32 and a half inches. Uh, he got on a 3-0 inline circle hook using bloodworms. Now you can see uh, the 32 incher looks much bigger than the 36 incher. So guys, make sure you're holding these fish properly as you take the picture. Right? All about those angles. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All about those angles. And for a moment, I can say, Dave, you're in the lead for our contest, but probably oh, just contrary. a moment. Just a split <laughs> second. Dave, hope you enjoyed that moment in the sun. Because uh, Brian Valentine takes the lead for our striper contest with his 38 inch beauty. We'll see if that holds. Uh, he's been having success up in the Hackensack River. He caught this 38 incher off a six inch bunker colored swim shad. However, his main success has been coming from what he calls the magic eel, uh, which is a tsunami eel. He's caught a 31, a 32, and a 34 incher all on the tsunami eel. American Angle member Brendan Harkins landed this monster while fishing in the Delaware River. Uh, it seems to me if you're looking to catch a big one, the Delaware River is the place to be right now. Yeah. Uh, and Ariana, also uh, from uh, American Angler, continues to get it done up in the Raritan Bay. Then... We have Jim Schnapp with this monster 48-incher uh, that he caught out of the Delaware River using blood bags. This fish was caught on Friday the 31st, so Jim snuck in right under the wire to take home the prize Man, with his right personal best. End. I tell you what, we, we had like a flurry. I know, right? right it was end. like it was like Carl Chen, like all month, and then like Those the days, last yeah. week, right? Dave for like a split second, then then Brian Valentine and Jim Schnapp snuck in right under the wire. He said he was uh, sitting there on the banks for a couple hours, with no action, and then bam, this this giant uh, jumped on the hook. So, Jim, congratulations to you, man. Hit us up on Instagram. That's where you've uh, been sending us all your reports. So, hit us up on Instagram with your address, and we will get you out this prize pack. Uh, and uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, continue uh, supporting us. Continue watching and send us your reports. And we'll see you next week. Good luck, guys.